dog. Hello everybody, this is Karen Kennedy, fitness model and competitor. And today I'm going to show you how to get some phenomenally fit abs by sharing with you a five combo series. And what it is, it's, it's intense. <laughs> You're going to be hurting. But for 45 seconds to a minute, we're going to crunch and spin and turn and curl and make those abs work. And then we'll rest 30 seconds in between. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, we just finished our first crunch in the series. So take your 30 seconds, catch your breath. If you need to, make sure you stay hydrated. <laughs> we'll get ready for our next set in the series. The next set in the series, we're just gonna do a simple scissor. Now this is gonna focus more on the lower abdomens. You put your hands at the side, and you're going to make sure you put, roll your shoulders back, keep your back flat on the mat, Let's go. Don't forget to breathe. that. If you feel it too much in your lower back, then what you may want to do is raise your legs a little bit or use your arms just to hold you a little more stable. The key is keep moving, keep engaging. All right, next in the series we're going to crisscross our legs and again working lower abs and pulling in a little bit of the obliques. Ready? Let's go. I love the last 30 seconds. <laughs> oh wait, we got two more. <laughs> okay. So next up, we're gonna go back to the classic crunch. But this time, you're gonna put your hands slightly on your head, more for support, and to keep your lower back 
and uh, your, your middle back on the mat. And you're going to crunch your knees up to try to touch your elbows. It's okay if you don't get there right away. You eventually will. Ready? Let's go. Right. One more set in this series to go. Your abs should really be burning by now. If not, we'll rewind and start over. Just move the little button back. <laughs> the last set of our phenomenally fit abs little series is going to be to kind of go up and try to touch your toes. So we just did the closed crunch. Now we're going to try to do is use our longest levers, our legs and our arms, and get those guys to go together. And what you're going to do is you're going to come up and just kind of V up. It's a simple V up. You do Pilates, you know this move. It's very good for your overall core and incredibly great for the abs. Ready? You notice, we get here towards the end, we've met that epic fail again. The key thing is, is to make sure you engage your body so you feel the abs work. We burn them. <laughs> so, sorry I needed to catch my breath there for a second. So now, in case you didn't catch it, the workout plan below, down here, you'll see the reps, the exercises, and the sets that I just did. Again, go for 45 seconds to a minute, so you really feel that burn. Take your 30 seconds of rest in between. If you really like the video, you're feeling all kinds of burn, make sure you press like below or subscribe above. Thanks again for working out with me. This is Karen Kennedy competitive fitness model. See you soon.